Hello, welcome back to another Artifacts video. In this one, I want to look at diffuse and specular lights. So essentially, it's just some of the objects for lighting. So if we take a look, press AA on here, we can see we've got material options. So shadows is kind of like a whole another topic. But if we look at, for instance, from here, you can basically choose, first of all, you can choose whether you accept lights at all, right? So if you press off, it will just go back to the full image. Otherwise, you will accept lights. This button here, the ambient light, is how much it's going to be affected by an ambient light. So the ambient light is obviously what sort of, you know, lights evenly the layer. So if you wanted something not to be affected by it, you could put that at zero. Okay, so the next options are essentially diffuses on its own in a category, and then the specular intensity, specular shininess, and metal are all in a group together. So diffuse lights are the primary kind of light thing. So the fall off will match. The fall off the lighting is going to match whatever light you're using. So let's take a look at the difference here. So you can see that's going to just going to sort of you can see how that's primary. Whereas the specular intensity is to do with hot spots. So if we take a look here, you can see it's creating a spot right at the where the light is, and you can moderate the fall off. Uh, the metal section is going to be. At zero, the color comes from the light. So you can see this is the color of the light. 